Welcome back to Antimatter Dimensions. So, if you remember, last time we got these upgrades here, and um, so now we're ready to do challenges. But before I do that, I'm just going to do a few normal runs so that this can pick up. So again, I'm going to do the trick where I enter any challenge, then exit it. Then this way I can um, reset the infinity timer and get a faster speed run. This is not necessary, but I like to do it. So, um, I'm just going to do a few infinity runs and then I'll see you then. Okay, so as you can see, our infinity time is now down to 1 minute and 17 seconds. We have 5 infinity points, so I think we're ready to start a challenge. And I'm going to do this challenge first, just because this one's really easy, because normal Radster doesn't rise very fast at all, so we're going to do this one. Okay, so it's just the same as a normal run, except as you can see here, there's normal matter, and if it exceeds our antimatter amount, that would be really bad. Um, they should make it so you just fail the challenge, but I don't exactly know how it works at this point. It's just confusing, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to happen. So, um... Yeah, infinity is pretty fast. We're almost under one minute. And this is effectively the same as a normal run, so we so we're effectively just doing a speed run. It's like the normal matter is not even there. Like I mean it it's not even exceeding like a hundred. Let's see how long have we fifty seconds. Okay. I'm just going to do some of the easier challenges. Maybe after this I will just um, go through every challenge and we'll talk a bit about it. So this is how an infinity goes at this point. So let's take a look. So we have this one, which is not, which is kind of always possible, but it just takes a long time. This one is not hard. Neither is this one. This one is just slower. Um, you'll probably need like two galaxies, but it's not too bad. Um, this one is kind of slow, but it's also not that hard to do. This one is very RNG dependent, so you might just want to click the um, lose a reset button if um, it's going badly and. So I'll, sh I'll tell you what the loser reset button does. You might have noticed while we were doing the challenge, there was this button here. So that basically makes it so that you can um, go to the start of the reset. But you have a setback. So if I just do a dimension shift here in the normal matter challenge, you can see it will return me to the start of the reset, but it will set me back one reset. But then there are some challenges where you'd need it. So... We have this one, which is very RNG dependent, so if we get bad rolls, we can just lose a reset. And notice here, 0 0.3 means we could actually lose production. This one, we already know how to do. I'll just do it in case you don't know how to do it. I'll just quickly do it now. Um, so you should have done challenge 8 a couple times after your first infinity, but in case you didn't, I'll just show you how it's done. So you have to um, unlock the dimensions. So you have two dimension shifts, so you have to get to five. And then we'll unlock dimensional sacrifice. Just in case you're wondering how fast it is at this point. So, um, unfortunately the dimension boosts don't actually give a boost, so this part is slower, but we only need one more. Um, and then we are good to go. So it's going to take a little bit, but it's fine. There we go. And what you need to do now is you need to wait until you unlock the 8th dimension. And then, this is just a sped up version of what I was doing before. And then you just sacrifice. You do dimensional sacrifice, so you do it here. Then just keep doing it two times. And the pace will pick up towards the end. As you can see, it's exponential. Actually, I remember I liked it. I figured out during this series that I liked to do it at five times, so I'm going to do that. Okay. 
we're gonna go two times because why not? It's really at this stage of the game we can do it a lot faster, as you're gonna see. And I'm doing it three times. I wanted to go even faster than this, but ah, oh, there we go. This is the part where we reach infinity. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now. <laughs> That's how it is. Just not that fast. Let's do this one, because this one's just a tiny bit slower. So you can see here's the first dimension. Um, it is heavily weakened and it increases it very slowly, but it's possible to do this challenge just by simply waiting. And that's a way that you can get this achievement here, but it's much easier to do it later on. You'll see, I'll show you um, when we can do it. Because a lot of the time you'll get stuck at like E160, but there is a point where you can break through and get the achievement. Um, all this happens after you break infinity, by the way. And so it's basically the normal run, but a little bit slower. And um, so is this one. Um, now, we're going to keep going. It's starting to speed up. And there we go. It's, it's obviously a little bit slower than normal, but it only affects the first dimension, so it's not too bad. Um, okay, now... We're going to get a galaxy, and we're going to have to start all over again, but we're going to reach infinity quite fast. Okay, fourth dimension. It's just... Come on. It's always that first dimension shift after a galaxy. And then it gets faster. Then after the second dimension shift, it gets even faster, and then it just gets super fast. This applies to normal runs, by the way. And... <sighs> now. This is going to get faster, okay, because we have the galaxy, so it's even faster. We're not going to reach infinity from here, but... Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll do just one more. Look how fast this is. Bruh. Even in a challenge. Now I completed this one. Let's do this one because this one's also pretty easy. Um. It's like an easier version of this challenge here. Like in this one, you have to wait three minutes. In this one, you have to wait two seconds. So, like, in this challenge, the way you do it is just by, instead of you holding M, you just click M in, like, a spaced out interval, so that this has time to get back up. Um, some of these are just slower, and there's no special tactics. Some of them are so hard that they need to lose a reset button. The... Hardest challenges in terms of slowness are probably these two, and the hardest one in terms of difficulty is probably this one. Because even with the right strategy, and I'll show you what it is, it still takes like 45 minutes to do this challenge here. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, as you can see, we can almost afford this infinity point generation upgrade, which is based on your fastest infinity. It's like every 10 times your fastest infinity, you get an infinity point. It's basically what the upgrade does. So you can now get infinity points while idle, and the challenge is 
will help with that too because it will let you fully automate infinities. And that upgrade will let you get infinity points without doing anything. So really in so we're really like trying to automate here. And of course the infinities where we don't hold M will be a lot slower because we have to upgrade our auto buyers, but and we haven't done that yet, but we're gonna start doing that pretty soon. Um Okay, here we go. Um, are, am I doing a challenge? No, I'm not. I'm just doing a normal run. I think I'm going to do this challenge next and just hope I get good RNG. I could even do this challenge faster than a regular infinity if I get really lucky. That's actually that actually could ver that actually could happen. It's just if we get unlucky and we have to lose a reset that this is going to take a long time. This feels pretty fast, actually. We might even get a speed run in under a minute. Um, and um, okay. So I think this is they they should kind of balance it so that this is actually a challenge. But I guess you can always get unlucky. So. Um, yeah. And, oh my god, that was so fast. How long did that take? One minute and four seconds. Bro. Wow, we completed so many. I think now's a good place to end the episode. Bye!